From building materials to furniture, to musical instruments and even clothing, we have used bamboo for over thousands of years. But it's not just about what bamboo can do in its natural state. In other forms, bamboo has the capacity to even power homes. Before that, we need to understand what's bioenergy. It's energy or electricity we get from processing organic materials, such as agricultural crops, wood or plantation waste, collectively known as biomass feedstock. Typically, power plants utilize biomass combustion to generate heat, which in turn boils water and produces steam, which powers a turbine to produce electricity. This process, known as thermal conversion, involves two methods. Direct firing, where biomass is burnt directly, and co-firing, a method that involves burning both biomass and conventional fossil fuels, like coal, together in a single combustion chamber to produce electricity. This approach offers a cost-effective and adaptable strategy for incorporating renewable energy into current power generation systems, and it enables power plants to broaden their energy sources and reduce reliance on fossil fuels. While biomass co-firing isn't as prevalent in Asia compared to countries like the US, Norway, Denmark, Netherlands or Sweden, countries such as China, India, Indonesia, Japan, South Korea and Thailand are increasingly recognizing its benefits and integrating it into their energy strategies. Now, in a world seeking sustainable solutions, bamboo is a highly viable biomass resource for various reasons. It's found in every continent, except Antarctica and Europe, which makes it pretty abundant. Moreover, bamboo groves are a great carbon sink. Experts estimate that one hectare of bamboo, which is roughly the size of two football fields, can absorb about 17 tons of carbon from the atmosphere each year, playing a crucial role in mitigating the effects of climate change. But that's not all. On the energy front, bamboo combustion does less harm than coal burning. In recent years, Indonesia has been exploring bamboo as a biomass resource for energy generation. What we need to avoid is the releasing fossilized carbon. And bamboo is not fossilized carbon, it's a biogenic carbon, carbon that is already in our atmosphere. We just recycle it back. Bamboo is a grass, not a tree. When we plant bamboo and harvest the bamboo, it will grow back by itself. We don't need to replant bamboo all the time, unlike the tree that it's been grown all over the world for biomass production. And bamboo grows fast, really fast. According to the Guinness World Records, some species of bamboo can grow up to 3.8 centimeters in an hour. As a fast-growing grass species, bamboo exhibits several characteristics that makes it an excellent source of biomass energy generation. Once bamboo matures, that's typically in about five to six years, it can be harvested and thinned annually. This rapid growth cycle allows for quicker regrowth compared to trees, making bamboo a highly renewable resource. According to the International Bamboo and Rattan Organization, a single bamboo pole is capable of providing enough power for a rural household for an entire month. Bamboo is pretty versatile, even in its biomass state. It can be burnt directly to generate heat and electricity. It also can be combined with traditional fossil fuels or converted into biofuels, such as bioethanol or biogas. Those can then be added to gasoline to generate power. In degraded lands with minimal water and fertilizer, Bamboo is well suited to thrive. It stabilizes the soil and prevents erosion, 
reducing both its environmental impact and production costs. Bamboo planting and harvesting as biomass feedstock could also offer new sources of income for rural families and help boost local economies. Despite its many benefits, bamboo remains an underutilized resource for electricity generation. As a biomass source, bamboo faces scrutiny for its supposed contribution to deforestation and biodiversity loss associated with burning wood pellets from trees. While large-scale bamboo power generation remains unrealized, lower-scale initiatives providing decentralized electricity distribution have been piloted in countries like India, Thailand, Vietnam, China, and Indonesia. As awareness grows, bamboo's potential for power generation is poised to gain broader recognition and implementation over the next five to ten years.